Welcome back to another guide video. This time I'll be doing it on Noir because Noir got a lot of views in the past when I did play Noir in season three and season four. I mean, in season four and season five, sorry, I did a lot of videos on Noir, so I thought I may as well give you a lot of guide for season six. If you're trying to play her in the mid roll for rank conquests or casuals, I think this might help you. I won't be going in super detail and telling you how to how to um, position yourself and how to do all these like tricks to help you. I'm just going to go through a simple build and how to level from 1 to 20 and that's about it. I may upload a video of gameplay I have got of Noir in ranked and then kind of give you a pre-recorded video of what I'm talking about. For now I'm just going to give you a build I use and how I level up for, like, throughout the game. So from level 1 to 20, level 1 you want to get your free, your free to wave clear. It helps you clear wave pretty quickly and it can help you clear the speed camp when you start off with your jungler at level 1. You can use it through the wall. So example, imagine this is the speed camp right here where I'm pinging. Imagine this was a speed camp and there's a wall right here. You can use a free and clear it and if you hit all three minions you can then go to mid wave. Then, uh, sorry, go to your mid wave, start clearing it and then you'll turn level 2 once you've completed that wave. If you don't hit all three minions, then you're not going to turn level two. That's how it works. Or if your jungler doesn't actually clear it quick enough within the three seconds of you hitting them, then you won't turn level two. So please make sure you hit all minions and speed camp at level one. Then go to your wave and kill all the minions so you can turn level two. Once you hit level two, you want to get your one. Your one's going to help you with wave clear and it can kind of protect you if you do know how to use it wisely. It does help you. If you're playing against someone like um, Fenrir with a Brutalize, he may blink on you and have and be level 2 and he has his jump and his Brutalize and then by then, if you use your 1, it would take, it would like, what can I say, it would turn it off? I don't even know how, what you call it. Okay, so for example, let's say he uses his, his Brutalize, right, and he's sticking onto you and every time you move, he's behind you. If you're a good player, you know what I'm talking about, right? If you pop your 1, it will turn it off. Or if, if, for example, let's say Argus was chasing after you. If Argus was chasing after you, if you pop your 1, it's going to turn off. But obviously, no one's going to have Argus at level 1. Let's be honest, it's not possible. But if, throughout the game, if there is an Argus there, then if you pop your 1, it will turn it off. Please make sure you know how to use Noir in that situation. Because if you, if you have someone like Argus chasing you, press your 1, it will turn it off. So, same for Fenrir. If Fenrir is using the 3 on you, you can use a 1 and turn it off. Pretty simple. Level 2, I mean level 3, you want to put a level into your 2 or your 3, it's up to you. If you want better wave clear and not a lot of fighting potential, get your 3. If you want to have a tiny bit of fighting potential or, or protect yourself from like Susano, if he blinks on you, then get your 2. I normally get my 2 because I want to protect myself. I don't really get the 3. Like I don't really put an extra level in the 3 yet. I normally do that at level 4. At level 4, I put a level into my, in my 3. So it can have a bit more power, be stronger to clear the waves so I can rotate around and get some camps. Level 5, I put a level into my ult so I can have that ward presence around so people know when they're getting ganked. It's pretty shit early game in damage. It's more for the wards so you, you can protect people when you see an oncoming gank. Apart from that, it's pretty shit early game with the damage. At level 6, I get my two so i get two minions so when you level it up once if you level your claimants up once as you can see you get two minions and throughout the whole entire level you get two until the last one that is five you get two minions at five level ups so at level six i get a level of my two i'm not gonna say level six level seven level eight i'm just gonna start putting them into the correct at places and then you can copy it So that's what it should look like. If you want to slow down the video, you can. I know it was pretty quick. I didn't really explain it, but I normally get my free first because it's it's the most it's the main like part of your build. It does damage of the cooldown. The cooldown is so short. What is it? Oops. What the fuck? The uh, cooldown is eight seconds. Pretty quick. It does damage. When you use it with your two and combined with your two and your three, it does stun them. So you want to get your free more often, like have up so you can stun 
Your two takes a long while. As you can see, it says 18 seconds. That's pretty long. And your thing says 8 seconds. So it's doing double at that point. So clearly, we need some CDR. So in the build section, I'll be talking about CDR with her. Her ult is 110 seconds. Again, that is pretty long. You need some CDR. And then your one is 15 seconds. Again, that is pretty long. So in the build I'm about to show you, it has a lot of CDR. Your eight, eight seconds is not that long, but throughout the whole build, 110, 18, 15, that's long as hell. You don't have to have time to wait for that. So when you're at level one, you want to get Cronus Pendant. Sorry, you want to get tier one Cronus Pendant and Mage's Blessing. So much fun egging at level one, this is what you want to have. In the mana and, or consumables, you want to have two health potions. You want to have one health potion, two mana. If you... If you're not really safe and you're new to Noir, I would recommend you get two health if you're new. If you're kind of good and you can position yourself and not get hit or poked out, you can get one so you can have the extra gold when you back to base. When you do back to base, you can get pen boots. Pen boots is really good. I get pen boots over cooldown boots for the extra pen and I have it because it does a tiny bit more power. It does it? Oh shit, no it doesn't. Sorry, I thought it did more power. But yeah, you get more pen, so it does hit overall more stronger. But I did remember that it had more pen. That was ages ago. But now it has 10 penetration still, so it still does more damage anyway. Um, Next, you want to get Cronus Pendant. When you do back again, get Cronus Pendant for the CDR. You get 20% CDR, which is really good. Then her, her, the passive on Cronus Pendant gives you 1 second every 10 seconds taken off your abilities so every 10 seconds you have one second taken off all your abilities like i explained before her abilities are on crazy amounts of numbers that like 88 seconds it's now reduced because we've got some cdr but 88 seconds is still long 14 seconds is still long so having that one second after every 10 seconds will help clay minions so much because it's 14 seconds and then your one again 12 seconds the, about one second reduced would help your one, your O, and your two, like so much in team fights, you wouldn't even recognize it. And then you have next when you back to base, you will have uh, Soul Reaver situational. You can get Divine, Divine helps you fight those healers or self healers. You're fighting against the Kamazots, Freya, Afro, Artio, Romana. Having Divine would actually decrease their healing and make your obviously team fights much more smoother and better. If you're not fighting anyone that does healing or lifesteal, for example, Freya, if you have no one like them in your game, then buy and spare would help because it has more, um, well, I would say not more, it has more in, in the actual kit. You have more power, you get 10% 10, 10 CDR, and then the passive, if you do get a kill and assist on a god, it then re reduces one second of all your abilities, and then obviously Divine doesn't really have much. So if there's no healers in the game or no life stealers, no point in getting divine. It doesn't benefit you as much as spare. So I'll get spare in that case. Next, I'll buy Soul Reaver. Soul Reaver gives you 130, 130 power, 300 mana. Again, I need a lot of power because Nua does a fuck ton late game. The damage she does is so much, so I want to have loads of power. When I do reach that stage, 130 is a lot. And then the passive... The more health they have, for example, tanks, they're going to be tanky, right? The more health they have is the more damage you'll be doing. Late game, this will be showing a lot. Like You can see the difference within your damage because they will have more health by then. So buying Soul Reaver early doesn't even matter because you get 130 power. Next, you want to get Obsidian Shard. Obsidian Shard works off magical protections. The more magic protections they have is the more damage you'll be doing. So you can ignore, obviously, protections. If they have 300 protections, you would do more damage towards them than if you didn't have it. If you don't have Obsidian Shard, you'd be doing literally nothing to them. But when you have Obsidian Shard, you would not, you ignore 50% of the defense and you'd be doing a ton of damage. If they have over 300 protections, sorry, if they have over 200 protections, you'd be doing 45 penetration to them. So it's pretty good. Next, you want to get, where is it? You want to get um, Rod of Tahuti. Rod of Tahuti is a power spike. The passive, when they're below 50 health, you gain a 25% additional power to basics and abilities. 
to your ultimate it's kind of like your finisher right if you know how to play new art then people are escaping or running away from you your ultimate is just there to finish up if they're below 50 percent health you will gain additional 25 percent additional power which is pretty good when in that case because you'll be ki killing them even more easy you don't have to kind of study the health and do all the math you would know that 25 percent is a lot so having that on your ult may kill them if they do pop a, a med or they pop a shell this will still be strong to take them down so it's always good and apart from that you get 150 power really high and then mp5 is not really that useful late game and then the last item you want to sell boots and get maybe soul gem for the heal and the, like just all the stats you get more health life steal cdr and then you get the, the burst from the passive it's not a bad item you could buy a do more you can buy a do more for the movement speed and power because you don't have an escape right so you'd be getting attacked way more often easy because you're you've got no escape so buying this would help you you get six uh you get six percent movement speed with when you stack up you get more movement speed obviously every 15 seconds you do lose all those stacks so you do lose them but if you do stack up you get way more movement speed than six percent 135 power really high the mana it's not really that useful late game but it's still there if you don't want uh, more power and you want protections and you're fighting someone like Poseidon and he's really annoying wing wing blade would help you with that wing blade gives you 300 health that's a lot it'll give you um 10 percent movement speed again she doesn't have any escape so having movement speed is always a good thing and then the passive anytime you get hit with a cc slow you then gain 25 20 percent increased movement speed really good it'll help you get away from those krakens if you are getting krakened a lot and etc any slows it will help you if you want more defense not really helping you with cc if you want defense celestial helm is a good defense item it gives you 60 power 40 protections and mp5 is kind of relevant late game and then on, on top of the 40 percent uh on top of the 40 physical protections you get more physical protections in the actual passive so it's not just 40 you get way more than 40 i think you get 60 80 i'm pretty sure not i'm not quite sure it got enough so i can't really, like be asked to check it but i'm pretty sure it gives you like 60 i'm quite sure it gives you 60 or 80 or 70 somewhere around there if you don't want celestial helm then you can buy a power or movement speed shaman's ring it's not that bad i won't buy a shaman's ring anymore it doesn't it doesn't really help on your clay minions or it doesn't really do much anyway on new because your your one takes forever to get to the destination of the target you're free that's really rich for your clay minions so it's kind of useful like shaman's ring not bad it's kind of useless not useless it's not the best item you might as well buy a do mob or a soul gem i would get a soul gem this is the build i would run i'll get a soul gem if not i'll buy more pen doesn't really matter divine i will buy you can buy anything you can buy literally anything doesn't matter i can't really help you with what what you can buy last item buy anything doesn't really matter but i'll just buy a soul gem for the 10 percent cdr um health life still the burst and the passive you get a burst in the passive a lot of things you can do with soul gem or you can get doom mob i don't know i'm trying to give you situational builds right now or situational items so if you just want an item a core cool item buy a soul gem and yeah that's it the guy is not that long i just checked the time it's like 14 seconds i know i rushed it you probably won't even know what i'm saying because i just rushed it i wanted a quick guide if you do want to have any questions you might have thought oh, so i'll I answer any questions even if it's a month old video don't be scared to like comment i do comment on old videos even if it's a year old i don't really care i'll still comment probably be irrelevant a year in a year's time will be irrelevant so i don't think you should comment but if you do you can comment and reply if you're wondering what relics i'll run on her i'll get beads agus i'll get that nothing part apart from that if i'm playing a casuals and i don't care and casuals i might like, might get a um, blink because you know blink you can blink use a clay minions and you're free but obviously in rank do you want to get agus and beads let's be real now you know protect yourself so yeah in ranked i'll get this 
I'll get beads first. I never get Aegis first. I always get beads. If I'm playing Afro, I might get uh, someone Aegis first because I've got thing. But it's not Afro, it's Nuar. So I'll get beads. You can, it's up to you again, situational. If you like Aegis first, get Aegis first. If you like beads first, get beads first. Playing, if you're playing against Poseidon, you might want to get Aegis first. I don't know, it's situational. But yeah, this is the build. Not the best. You might be, you might find a better build or you know a better build, but if you are a newer player or new to newer, this build can help you. It's not that bad. I use it in ranked. I do pretty well in ranked with it. I've won many matches with newer in season five and season six. Pretty good. Season six, obviously, is different to season, that like season four, so I'm not going to mention that. But season five, season six, kind of similar. Not that hard of like, of build difference. So yeah, this is the build. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it did help you, please tell me if you want any help or any advice or any more information about how to play Noir, comment then. I may upload a video of one of my ranked games and explain in black positioning because those videos are like 40 minutes long so I can explain to you exactly how I play Noir in the mid roll. This video, I wanted it to be, uh, in this video, sorry, I wanted it to be below 20 minutes because no one likes watching a long guide. I hate watching long videos anyway of like one god. So yeah, it's like 17 minutes. So if you did like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. <laughs> That's a good main show. Hey, like that. <laughs> <laughs> you get a bit of a message to be said.